Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Poppy Playtime, a horror game where you must survive in a toy factory full of toys that love you. Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to a factory many years after everybody within disappeared. You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Play time! I thought it was time to die. If you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Welcome. Pause. You items. We got tape. Poppy wants to play. Well, I don't. Look, a puzzle! I think. Okay. I'll be back over that. Let me just look around, make sure there's like no secrets or anything I'm missing. Here's a tape player. Hi, my name is Lake Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. I'm not really sure if it's worth it, but if I get money, that's fine. Eat healthy like brawn. The source. The cat really enjoys this gift. Boogie bot. Candy cat. Green, pink, yellow, red. 
Let's see. Green, pink, no red. Yep, it was the color of the train. Another VHS player. I see we're gonna have a lot of these. Grab pack. I think this is the big gimmick of the game. You have like a, uh, like a grabby arms. You can like go by the trailer and the screenshots. You can uh, control electricity a little bit, solve puzzles, maybe defend yourself, hopefully. Only fire at small objects and handles. Do not fire at a co worker. This may cause injury or decapitation. Wire is conductive used for rewiring. That feels like not very safe. Thank you. Use your grab pack responsibly. Nice. I can grab things. I can grab this chair. Trick shot. I can grab furniture. And then look, I can even drag it around. Oh boy. What this? Can't grab that. Hey! Hey, buddy! High five. Huggy Wuggy. Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co. was forced to process to create the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, and our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Not Poppy? The game's called Poppy Playtime. Power. Yeah. Broken. Innovation. Testing. Feeder. Well, red. Oh, there's a key there. Is that key always there? Oh. Wait, pop. Staff only. Hey, I'm staff. Of sorts. Power. Remember. What character is this? Don't stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Okay. High voltage. Nice. Okay. Grab to divert power. Touch wire to power. Ah, 
How far can I drag this arm? Whoa, SCP. I think that's my limit. Wait, no. No, it ain't. We can do it. Come on. There we go. We got power. Hey, wait a minute. Eh, that's okay. It's all good. Do not enter staff only. Once again, I am part of the staff. It's okay. I'm here to do, um, work things. Man, I like this grabber arm. Grabber arms are swell. Does anyone see a tape around there? Remember to take breaks. Hmm. Picked up some kind of item. Hmm. Well, let's try going down. Candle with care. Oh, there's the tape. Got you. Got that one. Anything else of importance? We can open this. Get access to the other area. And we can play this tape now. Well then. Oh look, there's the red grabber arm. We need to get that moving so I can get it. Hmm. Oh no, not the green one. Oh no. There you are. Damn. You're gonna grab that, you're probably gonna drop it on the ground where it's gonna break and I'm gonna get my red hand. Now we're working. Now we're doing the good stuff.
Grab the complete circuit. The one. Yeah, it's a little bit of a puzzle here. Make sure there's nothing around this corner. I don't think so. Okay. Loop. And then... We're good. Man, I might be having to walk. It's relaxing. This must be what it feels like to be a toy. Or an Amazon package. Oh, God. That better not be flesh. No, it's fine. It's just toys. Where am I? Part bin. I haven't seen Huggy. I wonder what he's up to. Nobody leaves without a toy. Make a friend. He's power. I found Elliot was a visionary. He sets the stage for all Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet all the amazing things they created. The Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All needs is to be fed the proper parts and will then paint a symbol and do quality inspection of the toy on its own. Gone is need for complex sorting and backbreaking labor. Hmm. We need some power. Like the side says. Let's see what we got up here. Bring that over. Good. Ah, I see. It'd be like a little bit of a shortcut. Okay. I see what's going down. A little up tapes over there. Sweet. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. But your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? Alright, I think we're getting a little off track. Curious. It's a very curious specific video. Okay. Then we need to kind of like... We need to kind of like hook you. Okay, we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet. Okay, let's get this thing on. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. The 
toy parts going. I'll go in and make a toy. Let's follow their great journey to becoming a consumer good for children. Hurry up. Okay, so the parts have been painted. Use some kind of bumblebee cat? I guess so. They don't go in there. I'm assuming that's gonna be like final touches over here. Yeah, you gotta assemble. This would be like packaging or something. What? I think they're gonna figure out what they get rid of in the evil hallway. Give me toy. Thank you. Toy accepted, we're good to go. Locked. Locked. We're going in the <laughs> Oh god! It is huge and scary looking. And I need to start running for my life. Oof. We're almost hugged. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going the don't route. Turn, turn around. I'm turning around. Go ahead. Oh god. It's right behind me. Oh god. No. No. Don't want to be squeezed. We're good. We're good. Which way? Which way? Don't. Turn around. We're good. We're gonna make it. Left. Good thing it can't crawl. I think it can crawl just fine. Go oh, oh god. No, 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 no. No. Turn back. Stop. Danger. She see the thing behind me. We're good. We're alive. Yeah, we're alive. Wait, did you bleed? Where's that rust? No, that's blood. That doesn't make sense. Why would you bleed? <laughs> it's like Batman. <laughs> like Batman. It's not the greatest movie, but uh, Batman, Superman. <laughs> Do you bleed? So I guess I do. Turn around, danger, go back. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. 
I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not. End of... So you get bored of making toys. And you decide, you know what? We're going to go full Umbrella Corporation. Which is, you know, clearly the smart thing to do. We got to innovate. You know, sacrifice a few wages. Got to break some eggs to make an omelet. Interesting. This does not look like a factory whatsoever. Hmm. Is there some kind of forced perspective thing? Yeah, where they made things purposely enlarged to make you feel like you're a little kid! Yo, baby! Oh, it's Poppy's room. Hey, tell drop Poppy playtime. Is that a smart thing to do? Chapter 1, A Tight Squeeze I'm just gonna curious. I'm see what happens if you do grab me. I like how you like lower yourself. Oh god, you actually do eat me. Don't let them inside. Get up. Interesting game over. Okay, it's like slightly different in the, the vent. It's too early to die. Get up. So I guess that's it for the first chapter of Poppy Playtime. So this looks to be an episodic game. Well, chapter based anyway. I think it's very promising actually. And I'm just gonna say that because of, um, yeah, you have the, the evil former toys, randomatronics, or Whatever you have, you you have that kind of thing going on. But here's what I do like about this that kind of stands out a little bit. First off, we actually have, I'm not sure if it'll be used as a weapon or defensive, but we have some kind of like tool. We have, it's used for puzzles, it's used for, I think maybe momentum eventually. Cause I did actually dangle from it at one time and like softened my fall when I was trying to do one of the puzzles. And the, the one toy monster thing we did see, it moved in a kind of creepy way. It wasn't just a static mall that hits you and then it's over kind of thing. And then the VHS tapes are kind of cool. So there's like a little bit of like detail and uh, kind of charm put into it. Because you can't innovate horror games too much. They're relatively like done as a formula and standard. So you generally try to focus on like the charm and small things. And it's a good start. It's a good first chapter. Where it goes from here, we'll see. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.